Guys, I cannot believe I'm gonna say this. I have... Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. While you're watching this, I'm fingers crossed on a holiday, okay? Also, that's another reason why I look like this and the truth be told, I have a swimming suit under this leather shirt, which I will also link below if I can find it because I really love it up and I love, love, love wearing it. That's completely irrelevant for the topic of this video. So it's been a while. I just also realized I haven't got anything on my lips, which is a bit like, let's fix that. This is better. I'm so distracted, huh? A little bit better, or just chatty. I honestly, today is a crazy day. It's the last day before my holidays and I have to do so many things. I'm like kind of filming this video. I'm filming another video for you later on. I'm vlogging and it's just like, so it's calls, meetings, schedules, postings, preparing everything. I do not want to have any like posts that I have to do in my holiday dates. I'm like pre-filming the content so that like while I'm off, you guys can still have content you can enjoy and you don't have to feel like you're missing out on anything. So this is kind of like my prep for everything. I have like a ton of mask in my hair. I basically am feeling very at the end of the energy not so much physically as much as here like i need like fresh inspiration creativity to come back so i need to have a little bit of change of scenery if that makes sense i hope it does so in today's video as you can probably see we're going to be discussing one of my absolute favorite topics in the whole world handbags and i wanted to show you the bags that i brought with me on a trip that i think is sort of a very different trip so these are the bags that i brought with me to london mumbai dubai and my next destination as well which is a more tropical one so you might be thinking how does one pack for london and Mumbai and Dubai and the tropical destination and what do you bring because it's like a very different and very eclectic sort of like a mix of cities but somehow the bags that I brought with me are ticking old boxes and that is why I actually wanted to show that to you so I'm not gonna talk too much I'm gonna talk you a little bit through everything that I brought with me and I'm not gonna start in any particular order but I will do first my travel bag which is very happy by the way uh, just because I have a laptop inside and earphones and million diaries anyway so my travel bag as you guys could have seen in what I got for my birthday with you is this Goya tote I am obsessed now why I haven't gotten this before I don't understand I strongly 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 recommend it and like I said I'm really falling in love with Goya pieces they are gorgeous now I'm just getting so envious of people's agenda Filippo has so many Goya pieces and he just loves it I'm actually going to show you a little bit of what's inside of this tote so i have my earphones i have my laptop that's why that's what made it very heavy now it's going to be like much easier for me to just show you what's in here i received also as like a birthday gift this what you call it a pencil case from gucci with the little is this donald duck i think and I have some pens inside because i've been warning you guys not on journaling i also received a notebook in the same print how cute i have my agendas this is the hermes one i was writing my gratitude journal this morning and my kind of like um, desk pad of things this is not by the way related i have my card holder i have so many things tables as you guys can see I, this is the most useful thing that comes with this bag this is like usually filled with like beauty stuff when i'm traveling passport etc this is my so i have two phones they both have product cases and this is my it's a company phone but it's for one of my companies and this is my other company phone they're basically both work phones but they're both related to different companies so that if i need to do something this is like basically whatever i do with my like social media related job and this is my other business related phone i have some throat lozenges because sometimes when i fly my throat gets very dry and nothing else helps I I have a pair of sunglasses i have another pair of earphones earphones yeah these you've seen also in my what i got for christmas video these are my favorite sunglasses i think everybody in the world knows that Saint Laurent, i will link them below this is not what's in my travel bag video by the way it just turned out to be one i have this was a card that i got with the gucci pencil case and the notebook and i love it so much i kept it because my friend's son made it and it has like hidden flowers inside of it it's so gorgeous i love it so much i love this kind of stuff i love so so 
so, 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 so much. It's so emotional for me. So there's a lot of stuff in here, okay? I'm not going to show you everything, but what I'm trying to say is that this bag is so far probably the best bag that I've ever had for traveling. It's just amazing. I love it. I think it's super chic. It's beautiful and it's very useful also for work because you can fit inside of it so, so, so many things. So that's about that. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve bags all together that I've brought on this trip with me. Yep. That's a bit intense and I'm gonna start in no particular order. I'll show you one of the first usual suspects that we all know I love and appreciate so much. It's my Birkin 25 in gold with palladium hardware. This is one of my most worn handbags, goes with everything. I love it in combination with this color blue. I love this bag because sometimes when I'm traveling like for a long time I like to mix up day bags and evening bags but certain bags like this one they double as day and evening so if I go for a dinner I could bring it but also if I go to the Dubai mall I can bring it which is quite rare because I can't quite say the same about all of these bags some of them like for example this next bag that I'm gonna show you it's not like I'm gonna bring this if I go to the Dubai mall so this bag really doubles as everything it fits a great amount of stuff it's so easy it's togo leather so it's very durable and very convenient like i have toothpaste that i bought and it's just I, I really really love it i like i would say that i very often travel with that bag for the evening bag as you can see something that will be very surprising to you i don't know like instead of like my black mini kelly i decided to bring this bag just because i also like to wear my bags and i like to diversify them what i love about this summer run clutch which i will link below as well is that it has inside i hope you'll be able to see it this little mechanism so that you can put the chain fully inside and then it's just a clutch like this so there is no chain or there can be a chain i love this shiny croc embossed print because it's just that it looks very chic so if you wear it like this it's beautiful so this bag for example i will not be wearing in my tropical destination or even dubai really because i'm never really going out especially now that you know in dubai there's ramadan it's much more like quiet and easy and peaceful time so i don't think this would be something i'll be wearing but i wore it in both london and mumbai as you guys could have seen already shall we first get the hermes out of the way I'm thinking. So, okay, next Hermes bag and the one that I wore last night when we went out for dinner, which is why it looks a bit like this, is my Hermes Birkin Cargo 25 in this gorgeous navy color. Now, I wore denim jeans, I wore a white Chanel jacket and a white top and my new Chanel sparkly shoes and this bag and it's just perfect because I think that like for me this is a bag that adds that kind of casual vibe but it's so special it's not something you see all the time okay I'm very proud that I managed to get this bag when I got it and that it was still like quite I don't know like maybe like rare is not the right word but like quite special for me it's extremely special every time I wear it people are so in love with it I get so many compliments so many questions and now it's very rare that I travel without this bag i love it i truly 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 love it if i was traveling on a shorter trip as well this could even be on top of my trolley as a bag because it's pure perfection you tell me what you think that's my opinion so i also wanted to bring my birkin 25 in nata but then i was like honestly how many birkin 25s do you need do you bring do you wear you're gonna wear it it's not like i'm gonna wear birkins in in my tropical destination it's mostly for dubai okay it's mostly for while i'm here because this is like a perfect city if i go to the mall i just put everything in it but then probably of all of my hermes bags my birkin cellier is the one i wear the least because i love the slouchy style of birkins i love this i love that you just pack them and you know what like how i pack my bags they're always with me in hand luggage i would never do anything else and i just love that i can like easily pack them whereas the cellier one it's a little bit needs a little bit more padding because i don't want to affect the corners of it right so yeah long story short instead of the nata birkin i decided to bring my gucci jackie this bag is one of my favorite gucci bags it's the jackie 1961 i love it i also think it's perfect it could also go really well with this outfit it's just such a chic bag so i would say like this and the horse bit one that i'll insert pictures here is for me like 
the best of the best, so chic, so classic. So when I got the black Gucci bag, my best friend said, wow, you know what? I watched this Ticket to Paradise film with Julia Roberts and she was wearing the bag in the video as well and I loved it and I thought it was gorgeous and I love it and I love both of these bags because I think they're so chic and easy and understated and this again for me for London or Dubai or Mumbai this bag will work anywhere 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 you go I really love it and maybe like a similar style this is the newest bag in my collection that you haven't seen yet is this YSL 5 to 7 in yellow color I got this as well as a gorgeous gift from Lucy Aroma. Really, really huge thanks to them. I will link it below. Look how beautiful. I think this is what I'm gonna wear now when I go shopping. Love it. I love a good blue and yellow mix, but I'm very, very also selective about it. I don't like when it's too much like of a Swedish flag. I like it more of like Argentinian flag. <laughs> Nothing to do with the countries. It's just to do with the, the tones of the blue and yellow. So yeah love this bag this bag i have now in i think like five or six different versions would we like a blog post on it in case you guys don't follow my blog i write a lot on it i've just posted my gucci outfit as well with the horse bag i like to write bag reviews shoe reviews different things that i like and enjoy and wear and honestly yeah it's just you should you should follow it and you should sign up to the newsletter because that's where i post all the new things that i get that i haven't even shown here yet so my newsletter subscribers are always the first ones to find out and if you don't know how to subscribe to my newsletter i will leave a link in the description box so this bag came with me because i think this bag will be perfect for tropical destination for dubai for mumbai and for London. It hits all the boxes and this can be an evening bag and it can be a day bag. It fits surprisingly much considering what it looks like. I mean it will probably not fit a toothpaste if I go to buy one but like the Birkin 25 but it fits surprisingly much. I love it and I think it's so gorgeous. Such a beautiful shade of yellow. I have now this bag in black in a smaller patent in a suede with shirling in this i feel like i have four or five of these bags and i really 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 love it i think it's incredible how could i come to dubai without a bit of exotic right my birkin 30 touch which has matte alligator as you can see you guys have seen it when i unboxed it probably i love this bag has pink gold hardware rose pink rose gold hardware what's happening with me i really love it i think it's very special and i will not be wearing this in my tropical destination so for that portion of the trip it's a bit useless but for dubai this is insane it's the best it's i love it it fits a lot it's great for shopping it's not too heavy for me personally i'm very much used to working 30. i think this is like a show-stopping piece and it's something that i love to wear like look how gorgeous this is can we just agree okay when i got this bag i honestly couldn't believe my luck i couldn't believe it i love this bag i think it's such a perfect classic and i simply cannot wait to wear it more which is why i brought it with me on this trip and what's great about this bag is that when you pack it you can pack it like a babushka so i can put like matryoshka dolls you know you can put like this bag inside of this bag and then fill like space them out so that they are really really preserve the shape and all of that and you protect the metal and stuff like that so let's talk about chanel guys i cannot believe i'm gonna say this i have a chanel classic flap on my wish list there i said it i cannot believe it because i literally was like i'm never ever ever going to buy another chanel classic flap because they're so expensive and they are and it's ridiculous but i do have a chanel classic flap on my wish list and i didn't get it yet but you will see in my one of my next videos what i got the chanel but this is the bag that i brought because i think it will be perfect for my tropical holidays it will also be perfect for pretty much everything besides london inside of it i have a lot of stuff and also mm, i think i should wear these now i love these bottega earrings wait i'm gonna put them on i'm wearing currently my cartier ones but honestly these are just not giving me that satisfaction that i think the bottega ones will i will link them below because i think they are one of the best purchases lately they're also sterling silver which i think is justifies the price and they're very light like if you don't believe me like there's nothing they're hollow so there's nothing heavy this also i found out while i was hosting my narciso rodriguez event because like three girls were wearing them i think that there's a smaller and larger size so this is the larger size 
just so you know. But there's also a smaller size. And then there's the gold color one, which is sterling silver, gold plated. But this just goes really well now with this look. <gasps> we'll link them below. So anyway, I was talking about bags. Sorry, this is how easily I get distracted. And also I'm filming this video and I can see wild and the moon outside and I want the porridge now. <sighs> anyway, this bag I've had since I believe 2018. Yeah, or 2019. And it was a pain to get hold of because they had the one without the pearl handle, which was significantly cheaper. But of course your girl wanted the one with the pearl handle. And I love this bag because it has sand inside. If I also remember well, this was one of the last Carl's collections. I love it. I think it's gonna be perfect for my holiday. And I just love it because it's also navy. Don't we already know that navy is one of my favorite colors? For sure at the moment. If I tell you that Filippo doesn't often see a handbag and say like wow but when he saw this one because he was actually unpacking my luggage when we arrived thank you Filippo you're the best when he saw this one he was like wow baby where did you get this and I was like have you not watched my Paris Fashion Week vlog I love this bag and even though it's like you know the logo now it's full because your girl doesn't travel with empty bags. I need to stuff them. And actually I stuffed it with like another bag inside, like the cotton pouch with all of my underwear. Well, not all of my underwear, but most of my underwear. So I'm not gonna show you that. But clean underwear, let me just say that. Anyway, maybe that's very clear, I hope. So this bag is one of my favorite, 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 favorite bags. I love the shape, I love the slouch, the kind of style. And this could even be worn in like more tropical place. I know you'll be shocked, but I think it's an easy bag to bring around. And I really like it. And that's what I have to tell you. We're not done yet, guys. We're not done. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. If you ask me at the moment what is my favorite bag that I'm wearing the most and that I've been loving so much, you will be very surprised because maybe not. It's my black Constance 24 in box leather. I honestly don't think there's anything as chic as box leather. And I was so scared because I love the look, but I'm just not a girl for box leather. I am scratching, packing, jewelry, rings, nails, everything you can imagine. I'm not very, I'm like quite clumsy, but honestly, box leather is not what I thought it was. I thought it was like this crazy sensitive leather that you will never manage to preserve. And it's shockingly great. This is Constance 24. And actually I'm really much into Constance bags lately. I didn't bring one. In fact, I bought two. So this is the one in Rouge Kazakh with gold hardware and red Epsom leather. It's crazy because I think I already worn this bag more than this bag, but this one has more hardware scratches. Now look at the hardware on the gold one. And then there's not one single scratch on the palladium one. I don't know what to tell you. I love the style of Constance. The reason why though I brought these is because I have these Chanel red sandals that perfectly match this. And it's not like just, they're not just red. They're like red, pink, and purple. But it's like that, it's not too matchy-matchy. So it's perfect when I have them. And before my apartment robbery, I had three Constance's 18 and I was always saying I will never get a Constance 24. It's too large. I don't like it. Not into it. It's not my thing. I prefer the Constance 18 way more. And it is gorgeous, not gonna lie. But now I'm very much into this. Whether it's the whole like a bigger bag trend or what it is, I'm not sure. I really, 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 really love my Constance 24. In fact, I'm also planning on doing a little blog post. I might do a comparison between the 18 and the 24 so you guys know. Inside of the bag, I've shown it before. Now there is, they've kind of changed the 24 a little bit. There's the back pocket, there's the front pocket, and there's a mirror that comes with it that I haven't even removed the plastic from because I never really use a mirror, to be honest. I was just telling Filippo the other day, this is gonna be hard to remove. I never really retouch my makeup throughout the day. Kind of is what it is, and that's that. So yeah, I really love these bags because I just think they're so useful. Now, I'm also in Dubai, I have some errands to run and I have some things to do. So these are very convenient to just put on your shoulder. I have all the things inside like that I'm doing and that kind of helps. I have two other bags that I brought with me. So actually, it's quite a few bags. I know, but I will wear them all, trust me. And the two other bags are beach bags. So I'm thinking of not showing them to you because you can see them in my next vlog. But I will tell you, I brought a Salomon Raffia Toad. Wait, I'll, I'll show it. I'll show it. 
So one of the beach bags is this gorgeous Prada raffia tote that is very structured. And how I pack it is by putting like my sandals inside of it so that they all slide in and then I put in my suitcase. And now I realize that since Filippo's at the pool, you will not see the other beach bag because the bag is there. And it's the Saint Laurent raffia tote. I'll put a picture here of me wearing it. I think I have one and I will link it below as well so you guys can shop it because I do think that is the bag of the summer. I also love my Prada summer totes very, very, very much because I think this is just gorgeous but you know each to their own some people like more the softer toes because you can just throw them in your suitcase and you don't have to worry about anything but this looks great even though I've had it for years and it's not battered at all so that is it which of these bags was your favorite bag let me know which bags you can't travel without I think for me it's always going to be a mix of Hermes, Gucci, YSL, Chanel, Prada LV. That's the kind of vibe I like and those are the kind of things I like to go for. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed this video at least a little bit. I am gonna really try and switch off the next few days. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!